The cell's been sitting for very close to 12 hours now since I disconnected it at around 1 a.m. last night. And the time now here is just afternoon. And uh, so the cell has been sitting now for actually 11 hours. And uh, it still has voltage across it. Now let me explain here, this uh, cell, this design here, this plate here in the center is my negative plate. And this is a positive plate and this is a positive plate here on each end. And there are actually eight neutral plates in between there on each side. So I'll measure here the uh, voltage. Uh, sorry about the moving around here. I'm holding the camera as I'm doing this. So I'll connect here the voltage to this side and we're still showing 4.65 volts on that side there. And I'll flip my leads around here and connect it on this side and that side we're showing 2.92 volts so now I'll go ahead and connect the two positive plates together and we'll give you a total voltage reading here So with them both connected together, we've got a sum total of 4.2425, I guess it's climbing. I guess it's basically uh, equalizing uh, between each side now. So it's at 4.28 now. So it's still climbing. So that's why I kind of was giving you a side-by-side -side, uh, voltage uh, reading and uh, now it's just basically uh, equalizing. I've got the leads off here. Let's put that back on. So we're at 4.33 and it's probably still gonna climb a little bit from there but she looks pretty stable right there now. Um, I've got a little LED here. I have no idea if it'll light but uh, let's try it out here. I'll turn off that light and let's put the LED on here. Yeah, it's still lighting the LED off, on. So there's more than just voltage stored in there, there's, there's actual power. And that's been sitting for 11 hours. Turn my light back on here and uh, you can still see you know some of the bubbles left over here inside there. Now each plate are uh, approximately at one eighth of an inch center to each other. So now I'll uh, power it back up and with the Dr. Stifler's SEC circuit here and uh, that big piece of aluminum on the transistor there, that's just a heat sink that I've put there. And keep in mind that my uh, core inside my tuning coil at this time is uh, actually cracked and it's stuck there. If I put a tool in there to adjust it, um, where is it? There's my little tool. Um, all it does is it it just jumps. Basically, the core is just stuck in there because it's cracked and it's it's just it's just not turning. It's just stuck down there. So anyways, uh, I'll uh, put the camera on pause here and connect this puppy back and uh, we'll fire it up and see uh, what we get today. Okay, here we are, I'll connect it up and I've got the volt uh, meter right there uh, 
So we'll, we're getting a voltage right now across the cell of 4.21 volts. Uh, the SEC is not connected yet. That's just the voltage uh, in the cell at this time. I've got my uh, clamp on milliamp reader here and we'll just give that a quick zero reset there and let's connect it up and have a look at see uh, what happens so it hasn't been connected yet for 12 hours now so here goes don't mind my fumbling here sorry okay gonna have to reset my meter here to a higher scale okay we've already up to 59 volts and 60 volts and climbing amps are high but going back down 76 milliamps 65 volts going in and let me put the light in there so we can see okay so the bubbles are really fine at this time and that's something that I've kind of noticed as well it'll it'll start increasing a little bit more but uh, that's what it's doing right now Just adjusting the light here a bit. So you can't really see in each one of the cells, but each one of them are pretty well uh, producing equal amount of gas. So you're starting to see it pick up a bit there. focus range there. Sorry. So the bubbles are are really fine at this time. As you can see there. There's a pretty good shot of it. Okay, I guess now she's starting to pick up. So I'd say that's a pretty darn good shot of it there. It's uh, very, very clear. That's the other side of the cell there. 